Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about um, the things that we give our attention to and how, how the law of attraction works, how um, the law of assumption works by us giving our attention to the things and then they grow, they begin to get larger. And this doesn't mean, <clears throat> this is not limited to things in your personal life. This is also in your professional setting. You know, this is also with um, your health and wellness, you know, but oftentimes it'd be a little bit difficult if your mental is not there just yet to give your attention to what you want when you are experiencing or feeling or seeing what you don't want. But that's when the mental comes in. That's when the mental work comes in, right? So for example, what I'm talking about here about giving your attention to the things you want more of. The day before yesterday, whether or not you know this or not, I'm first I'm gonna talk about how it sneaks up on you. And you probably be experiencing this thing already. But then I'm gonna talk about being conscious of it so you can get it and manifest and create your reality even more. So the day before yesterday, this is something that snuck up on me that I had, if you all were here, I had a guy in on the live, his name was Justin. Justin was very um, uh, transparent. He was communicating, you know, he was commenting a lot. He was really in on a lot, right? We had a good dialogue going, right? And so every time he asked a question, I said his name, you know, I replied to him, you know, I was repeating Justin's name, right? So I got off the live and then the next day when I went out, just out and about at the bank, you know, when I went to this little Mexican restaurant, I ran into Justin's everywhere. Justin, Justin, Justin. The bank manager name out here was Justin. The, the um, supervisor at the Mexican restaurant name was Justin. <laughs> I was running into Justin and I smiled. I, I smiled to myself because I know how, you know, my universe, my subconscious mind work. That what you give your attention to, you gonna get more of. And so I just smiled at him knowing that that's just how the laws of the universe work, you know, right? Because I was giving my attention to someone named Justin and the universe gave me more of it. But this also works. This also works for you like, like in corporate America. When I was working in corporate America, we, our um, thing was safety was first, right? I worked for a utility company for 22 years and safety was the number one priority, right? So we had to do near misses. <laughs> we had to do like little incident reports when we know there's an unsafe situation. Now me being conscious, now corporate America I'm not conscious, right? So me being conscious about this thing here, conscious about, okay, wait a minute. I know how the laws of the universe work. If I give my attention to this unsafe situation, I'm going to attract more of it. Me being conscious of that, I said, oh, I don't really want to do this, right? But they tied it into your performance review. You know, your little quarter that you get on your raise the next year. They tied it into that. So I would do something that wasn't all that risque because of the fact of this. When you did the safety incident, you had to notice it observe it right this is how you create but they were teaching people in corporate america how to create more of something that they didn't want for the business you look at it right you had to jot down the time so not only are you observing it but now you're writing a spell you have to spell it casting a spell by writing it right and then when we got to the uh, meeting you know the safety meeting for the next time that we met together we had to talk about it we had to speak the word about it so those three things really together collectively because i know about the laws of the universe i shied away from but here's the thing they embrace this because that's the way that they do it in corporate america you know they're just on a different frequency they embrace this and they tell you you know get some more um near misses in you know you gotta put your near miss in your close call good catches right because safety is first but really what they're doing is paying attention to things that they don't want more of 
thinking that they're gonna fix the problem that way when it's really counterproductive it's really the other way around you're supposed to give your attention to the things that you want more of <laughs> not the things that you don't want more of and so i want to give you an example for how you do this in a relationship let's say in a relationship you with somebody and you want more of this man or this woman woman being more of a lady or being more of a gentleman then you speak on it you speak on it oh i just love how how much of a gentleman you are oh i just love your communication skills because really you're telling it to your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind gonna give you more people more um experiences of dealing with people with good communication skills that are gentlemen you know it's almost like that girlfriend and i'm sure we all have one in our in our day because i used to have one when i was at a little place that always say men ain't s-h-i-t right girl these men ain't s-h-i-t but guess what the universe gonna, gonna give her subconscious mind gonna give her more of that because that's what she giving her attention to and so then lo and behold the next man that she dealt with yep he was an s-h-i-t because the universe your subconscious mind gotta give you what you believe you walk out the door and then you see your friend who's supposed to be with somebody else doing something that they ain't supposed to be doing because guess what now your subconscious mind gotta keep Keep on giving you examples because what you give your attention to grows it grows so now this last example I want to give you even on TikTok everybody that you go to when you scrolling through TikTok is coming from your subconscious mind already what you give your attention to already so if you enter the so-called crystal work y'all think this is like the algorithms and all of that but really this is your subconscious mind <laughs> you running the show in your universe right so you you into crystals for example right you into you know healing or whatever and then all of a sudden now now on your screen you see these people reading cards right you reading card they reading cards and they telling you about the baby what's going on with the new moon with the twin flame energy and all of this here stuff um the frequencies of the universe right and you stop and you start to listen to them people and you gauge and you give your energy to it it was already on your mind that's how it kind of came on tiktok and now you gave more energy to it so now that energy is conjuring up because it's an energetic thing in our physical reality and so then you swipe and lo and behold you got more and you got more and you got more and so now your whole feed is basically that because that's what you gave your energy to and it's growing for you so use your energy for the things that you want instead use your energy don't get upset with the people on tiktok that's constantly coming at you and you don't want to hear it no more change the way that you are thinking and perceiving give your attention to something else and so you could get new feed, so you could get new experiences in your physical reality. And it is really that simple. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, brown sugar. Wow. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Because your subconscious mind, our subconscious mind, is running the show. And you might think it is, is this a coincidence? No. It's you. It's your program. It's you giving your energy to it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for being here hey ebony thank you for being here hey frederick yes so i really just wanted to share that with you all so and, and hopefully i am hopeful that it'll help you maybe communicate and speak on the things that you want more of speak on what you want more of stop talking about what you don't you know and i understand you know even like in relationships you know when you first when we first get into relationships when we're younger like you know i'm just basing this off of my experiences when i was younger you know you know how you we used to say stuff like um you don't never da 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 why you gotta be da 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 all of those things that we're saying <laughs> is coming from our own thoughts right our own feelings right and so what we're doing is expressing our own feelings, but in a negative way, we could always shine light instead on what that person is doing for us. Because really and truly, nobody really want to hear all day long what they are not. 
or not beating for you, that they don't measure up for you. Tell people what they are doing right. Even your children, you know? Like, you know, they will might not be clean today, but you, you we don't have to be like, you know, your ass is nasty. <laughs> you getting on my nerves. I'm so tired of this S-H-I-T. We don't have to approach the situation like that. We really don't. If we could tweak the way that we approach it, those type of situations, then the big ones that we really want, our manifestations, they'll be tweaked too. Because <laughs> like, say for example, if your manifestation isn't here in the physical reality, you don't have to walk around giving your attention to the lack thereof. You don't. You could give your attention to the fact that, you know what? One day I manifested this here, what is happening right now. These are my old thoughts. And I'm so happy that I'm a powerful manifestator and that my new thoughts are on the way. I'm so excited for where I am. I just want to take a moment to just be happy right here in the now. I'm so thankful for this here, this experience that I have right now, how the laws of the universe are unfolding and working on my behalf to give me the desires of my heart. Instead of, oh, I'm still here. See, see, the call ain't outside yet. What am I doing wrong? Why can't I manifest? Because we give our attention to the lack in everything so much. We, that's why certain people, when they become conscious, they don't want to watch the news, y'all. News flash. Everybody don't watch the news. I don't. <laughs> I haven't watched the news in years, okay? But then there are people in the physical reality that like to give their attention to, to things that don't understand the laws. And so those people think that they need to be Bob Brack or the news anchor in your area, and they need to tell you meaning me they need to come and tell me the stuff that i missed on the news right <laughs> because they they love giving their attention so much to things that's not serving them so in giving your attention to things like that on the news for example these are the same people that will tell you oh be careful don't go down at a magazine you know on magazine street they they you know breaking in calls and stuff so now that this person gives their attention to their breaking in calls on such and such a street <laughs> when they go on such and such a street they're walking in fear they're clutching on to their purse they're on a frequency of survival mode the lower frequency the root chakra right because they gave the attention to something that wasn't serving them and so they're experiencing more and not only that they're experiencing all the stories of everybody that was on the magazine street that they was afraid of, that they gave their attention to, they're going to find out all of the robberies. Girl, they just had one at 2 o'clock. Somebody just got robbed and they took their car. Girl, wait, you heard about the other one? It happened at 445. So they, they really like the local news anchor now because they like to give their attention <laughs> to things that they're serving them. And as they keep on giving the attention, it's growing. Just like that mother, the mother that works on the, the mothers against drunk drivers, per se. And maybe her son or somebody real close to her died that way. Now she's on the committee. Maybe she just, she started the program. Now she knows every little boy, every little girl that got hit by a drunk driver. Because she gave her attention to that and it grows and grows and grows and grows. And she goes sit there and she go to every little funeral for all of the children that, that, that died with drunk drivers. Meanwhile, there's somebody in the physical reality that don't even know not one person that got killed from a drunk driver. <laughs> but she sat there and she gave her attention to things that was not serving her. And it grew. It get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how the energy thing work. So... <laughs> Be mindful of what you're giving your attention to. Be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Hey, how you doing, babe? Thank you for being here. Be mindful of what you're giving your energy to. And this is why in the biblical text it says, Finally, my brother, whatsoever things that are love, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things. Huh. If they have any virtue in them, think on these things. Why is that? Because then when you think on these things, they grow. You get more of them. 
then you can experience a little bit more love you can experience a little bit more joy a little bit more bliss a little bit more peace because then then the energy gonna be working for you instead of against you because you're you're like a magnet with your thoughts with your spoken word with your heart the way that you feel you draw in these experiences to you life is not happening to you it is happening through you so if you're gonna be that news anchor if you're gonna be that shitty partner in the relationship that talk about old and bad don't don't get mad at other people in your reality when you get more of that bad when that bag keep following your ass everywhere around because you spoke it. You gave it life. <laughs> so you need to be accountable for the things that you give life and the things that you put to rest. Okay? So I'm not going to be here long. I just really wanted to share that with you all. I thought it was beautiful. I don't only for the weather. What's, what you saying there, brown sugar? You don't only do it for the weather, or you don't watch the weather, that's what you're saying? Oh, you only watch the news for the weather, maybe, yeah. That's what a lot of people say and do, or whatever. But I don't even pay attention to what the weather gonna be. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. You know, let tomorrow take care of itself. You know, we need every aspect of what the weather gonna do. You know, we need it. That, that's God experiencing itself and it's vibrating at different frequencies. We need that rain. We need that heat. You know, the temperature ain't always going to be the same. We, just like us with the sun. It's going to fluctuate from day to day. And we just can be still and, and, and know that we're God and we're protected. And, and, it, and it really doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. So in any case, that was my message. I'm about to get up out of here and go work out. You all have a beautiful day. This video was from...